my channel. My name is Coach Ella. For this episode, we are trying out something new. Coach Ella Women is a personal coaching ministry geared towards women in the seven mountains of influence. Aside from personal and group coaching, we also offer online events such as challenges and webinars. Also, we offer Coach Ella books. So this is the first example of a Coachella book. It is called Divine Reset. So we'll be having more of this this year and in the coming years. Merchandise as well. We'll be expanding to offer some merchandise. So I originally planned to feature my rest to reset. It is about me taking a rest because as people know, I'm usually on the go. I'm usually into this and that event or whatever ministry. So I wanted to feature my seven days of rest in Quezon City, but something came up. So I had to stay put in Antipolo. So I know that I've been mentioning in the past episode that I'll be featuring my two daughters in my Coachella TV, but last Christmas something came up, God had a different plan, so I guess it's not yet time. Oh. For this episode, I decided to feature the church reset. We transition again to having our church on site. This time, it's a hybrid of online and on site. In my book, I showed here the different kinds of resets in the different areas of our lives. In the church reset, there was an environmental and spiritual reset involved. So that's for every church reset or anything, you know, going back to events like me who was in the events industry for a long time. I featured that, you know, how we prepare for it, the behind the scenes, the cleanup, to the actual service and how people felt about it. I also featured the people who read my book from church. Thank you so much, those who read my book. Who stay because I will have raffle offers and other offers later promote a lot of things. So, panoorin niyo po muna ito. Pupunta tayo dito sa Home Essentials para sa mga pang dinis-dinis sa church. Tissue, meron kami breadsticks para sa communion. The Zesto Grape Juice Drink. Pupunta na kami sa church so blessed and free. So, kakaliwa na dito. Banda sa Yakult. Welcome to Churchill Bless Evergreen. <laughs> hey, we're back. So, ito na lang yung mga vision board namin. Kamusta naman? Naganda ba kayo Emma ni Church? Ganda. So, ito yung aming official logo. Yay! We're back. So, ito naman yung sa priest team. Hi, Ate Beth! Oh, yan. Ate Beth, Kuya Emma. Ating new member. Kahit ako nagka-pandemic, may new member pa din. At parang nakalbo yung tornado map natin. Nangyari. Na-pandemic din siya. So, ito Kuya Emma yung CR natin. Dito. Restroom. So, itong condition ng church pagbalik mula nung pandemic. May mga ali-ali kabok na ang dami, no? Ali kabok pa mo. Sa July po tayo last nagpunta rito. So, may dala kami mga pang communion, kape, for merienda. So, you are my everything and you know who my mind Importante yung sanctuary, unahin natin sa kato. A CR and yung dining. Kasi may fellowship bukas dito. Kamusta Ate Beth? Madumi pagpasok mo. Ate Beth, bakit may dumi yung flora na to? Sa daga? Oops, to yan ang daga. Ito. Ito yung dirty kitchen and church. Tapos storage. Ayan, si Pastor. Ayan sa storage. Ito naman po yung sa likod ng church. Kumang church. Yung dati namin ginawang church. Sanctuary. Kitchen number two. Ito po yung sa back ng church. Let's check kung may dial tone. Wala pong dial tone. Yun. 
hindi ngayon hygienic yung share-share sa cup. Pagi isang zesto tetra pack, bawat isang tao, at saka isang breadsticks pack. Parang breakfast na rin nila yun. Yun yung kamilin na namin. I raise a hallelujah In the prayers So, nandito na po yung mga Bibles na dinanate sa church. Siyempre, maraming sure ka na ba? So, magka-train ulit kami ng members sa paggamit ng sure ka na ba? So, yung drums daw namin, yung foot pedal, kinanghinat na tandaga, sabi ni Ate Bell. Ito po yung stock room namin, storage na bago na pinagawa ni Ate Edna. Ngayon ko lang na-discover na pang malakasan pala ang basahan namin, Louis Vuitton. Kuya Emma, nakita mo na ba yung basahan natin? Louis Vuitton yan. LV yan. Ang mayaman lang. Mayaman kasi yung church natin. Saka yung mga members natin. Yan. <laughs> so, welcome to CSP Evergreen. Ayan. Ayan. Yeah. Kasi pastor maglinis ng kubeta. Ayan. Linis, oh. Para ko dyan na yung CR natin. Dami natin marianda. Si Ate Rosie, ang author ng Uncluttered. At ang specialty niya is interior. So, papagandain niya itong shirt. Ito pa yung logo namin. Yay! Hindi pa siya napundi. Ito <laughs> naman yung band. Malinis na rin. Yay! Thank you, Ate Beth. Pugasa na lang. So, tatakpan namin itong Dragon. Wow, ini sana kitchen. Si pastor inaayos ng tech booth. Si yung kitchen natin. Ayan. Para magbinya ganyan sa pagluluto niya. Saka si Kuya Joey, syempre. Ayan. Si Ate Rosie inaayos naman yung kitchen. Hello! Kumusta kami? Yes po. Ministry. Yes. Let's see. Wow, ang linis na. Ito naman ay turkey ham from Ate Mean. Yes, ito na yung vlogger. Kuya Eman, kamusta yes, naman? Yes, ma'am. Ano kayo sure. na doon na dyan? Ito po ang French ano toast. Dyan? French toast. Yes. Ano daw sa Pilipino? Sinunog na din. Sinunog na din. Cut! Kuya, ayos, ayos yung mga pagkatuto. Ayan, 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 Si Pastor Ray is here. How does it feel, Pastor? Now, we are shifting now once again from online to on-site. Nakakapanibago ulit ng sistema ng pagsamba. Sanayan na sa online at babalik sa on-site. Sa online, mas maraming na-reach out. Pray to mga tao for healing, deliverance. Maraming mga naisalba to online yung mga may tendency mag-suicide. Then, unlike sa on-site, babalik ulit sa on-site. Ang kapasidad lang ng area ko, mga 20, Kumbaga, even though may mga ganitong naging karanasan ng church na pandemic, you should learn to rise up once again. Also, ano po, ang message ko sa bawat isa atin ngayong 2021, mag-rise up lang tayo, patuloy lang tayo sa buhay ng mga pinagdadaanan natin. Without vision, people perish, yung sabi ni God. Kaya mahalaga merong pangitahin, merong tinatahak, merong goal. Nararanasan niyo abundant life. Nag-obey tayo sa will ni Lord. Happy New Year sa ating lahat. Happy blessing year in 2021. Kalahin tayo ng Panginoon. So Jovi, kamusta naman yung worship ngayon? And how does it feel as a worship leader na nag-on-site worship ka na ulit? Ano po, masaya kasi mahirap po talaga mag-worship lead nang wala kang kasama. Or madali siya kung alone tayo mo, pero kung mag-lead ka tapos nakaharap ko yung camera, medyo maninibago ka sa umpisa hanggang sa... Huya! 
ibarit yung flow ng Holy Spirit kapag may kasama kang ibang worshippers. Oh. Ewan ko, uh, di naman not to brag po, pero para mas madaling maramdaman yung Holy Spirit pag sama-sama talaga kayo sa church. Kasi lahat kayo nagbulong ng Holy Spirit. Uh, sa akin lang po, always expect the unexpected. Kasi si Lord po yun eh. Siya po yung pinaka-original sa lahat. So, every Sunday, every paglilid ko po, I expect something more kay Lord. So, yung excitement ng more na yun, nandun lagi. So, ito naman si Jen, saka si JN. Hello! Yan, sila nag-asikaso ng ating tech for today sa so on-site. Share naman yung experience nyo. Uh, how does it feel na we're finally back on-site? Sobrang saya po. Kasi nakalabas ng bahay. Saya po kasi nakakamiss po talaga. Oh. Fellowship. No. Ngayon po kasi, parang emotionally, parang may binibigay talaga sa akin sa so Lord na lahat. But pinaparamdam ni Lord yung faith talaga para paging strong pa. Yeah. And lalo oh. na nangyari ngayon, 2020 na tumatay pa si Daddy. Ang daming nangyari ngayon. Oh. So work stress. Kung iisipin ko lahat ng nangyari, parang binibigay na ko ng Lord. Yung sabok niyo nga po na mag-release ka and mag-refocus ka. So ngayon, mag restart ako kasi I'm planning ko na mag-resign na sa so, work. So, oh, yes. so yeah. iniisip ko na, Lord, kayo na bahala sa lahat. And this 2021, talaga kanyang nakasunod ko na, Lord, i-dedicate ko ito sa iyo. So, dyan, yung tawag dyan, yung nangyari sa is occupational reset saka emotional reset because of what happened. Even ganun yung nangyari sa dad. I'm sure marami kang pre-nasses na nag-mature sa iyo Ang nag po yung ban po sa amin ng mama ko kasi po uh, matagal po akong nahiwalay po sa kanya. Ngayon po, ngayon 2020, since nag-lockdown, so lagi na po kami magkasama. Nabalik yung para nung bata ako po. Yes. Partly, that's also social reset in the sense of how you relate to your mom, ganyan, kahit family siya. So, yan. Ito naman kasama ko ngayon si Berna. Ayan, siya yung nag-worship lead kanina. So, Berna, kamusta naman ang feeling ng mag-worship lead on-site? Sobrang saya po kasi after how many months nakapag-worship lead ulit ako on-site, na-miss ko po yung mag-worship lead. Masaya po ako na nakabalik na tayo dito sa on-site. Nakasama ko na po ulit ang mga nag gagandahan at nagagopuhang taga CSB Evergreen. And of course, si Ate Ella, si Pastor Ray. Masaya po ako na kita ko ulit sila. Curious ako dahil, diba syempre yung buko naka-attend ka pa ng 7 Day Reset Challenge. Basa mo yung buko. Ano ba sa life mo yung talaga mga major reset na naganap? Madami, pero <laughs> isa-isa eh. <laughs> Unang nag-reset sa akin yung work ko po. Eh, hindi ako yung parang doon talaga, doon sa work na yun. Nag-reset siya kasi from tourism industry. Bigla akong naging teacher. Reset talaga. Reset na... Occupational reset. Oh, opo, talaga. occupational reset. And, saan pa? Sa relationship? Relationship. Relationship. Yan. Ano pa? Ano mo na gawa naging steadfast ka? Kung ibabraso mo talaga siya out of yung help ni Lord, hindi mo talaga kakayanin. Mababurn out ka talaga. Pero kung andun si Holy Spirit, ginagayad ka niya, siya yung strength mo, yung source of strength mo. Hindi ka talaga mapapagod. Thank you, Bernard! Thank you po! So guys, I hope you enjoyed my first vlog. Coachella TV would like to offer a wide array offerings. Hindi lang puro talk show, meron din vlogs. Since this is my first vlog, do leave in the comment section what you want me to feature in Coachella TV in the future. I would like to promote as well my Divine Reset book. Yay! This will be available again February or March of this year. If you are interested, please contact me on Facebook. That's Coachella. So one word down, Coachella Women. If you would like an e-book, so it's also available for a donation of any amount. So if you prefer, I know some people are into decluttering, so they don't want the hard copy of the book anymore. So that's fine. You can get my book for a donation of any amount. So we have the three-day Divine Vision Challenge. So for the Divine Vision Challenge, it will be January 20 to 22. This is only via Zoom, but this is geared towards challenging you if you are a man or a woman. So this is under Extraordinary Supernatural Ministries. If you are praying for a clarity of God's vision in your life this year. So this is a prophetic challenge for you. Three days po ito, every 8 to 9.30 p.m. lang naman via Zoom. So do join us in the three-day Divine Vision Challenge. Ito na yung mga prizes. If you are watching right now and you would like a copy of my ebook, just leave a comment in the comment section. If you are interested to have a copy 
of my ebook for free. I will be choosing two winners anywhere in the world. Mas na may email address kayo. So just leave in the comment section if you want the ebook. Just key in, I want the Divine Reset ebook. And then the first two naman to comment if you're from NCR, please leave a comment if you want to win two raffle prizes from the Sellers Hub. So the Sellers Hub is one of our ministry partners. Another ministry partner is Sweet and Sour Cold Cuts and Desserts. So if you are from Andaluyong or Quezon City, comment down below if you would like to win Sweet and Sour Cold Cuts and Desserts. Finally, if you are watching anywhere in the world and you would like a prophetic word from Chasing Jesus Ministries, we're offering a prophetic session with you. So just key in your location anywhere in the world. I hope you will like this uh, video. My first vlog, share, subscribe, and do press the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload another video for you. Thank you so much for staying and I hope to see you again in my next one. Bye! Bye.